Greetings. You know, in this channel, we always try to uh, present, introduce you to new developments that can be useful in, in the industry, in your daily activity. In this occasion, we will talk about the special type of liquid rubber, a liquid rubber that helps us uh, repair on-site your belt conveyor. It doesn't require temperature, so you don't require a special machinery in order to do that uh, repair. Neither you require to call someone, uh, a supplier from outside that might take at least five hours to come and maybe they'll come a couple of uh, employees, a couple of operators. But this is a liquid that in half an hour without temperature, as said, gets uh, hardened. Like you can see here, this is a repair for the whole thickness of the belt. It has the same flexibility as the original one. And a set is something that you in two steps can apply and half an hour you're ready to go and the production line doesn't stop. We will be repairing a screen, a vibratory SIP, a mobile device uh, for construction waste. So these are very tough conditions. So we can see the belt conveyor is worn, some areas are worn so that uh, there is no rubber left in the whole thickness of the belt. In other occasions there are just some areas in which it has been reduced that thickness. And we will start by placing the belt conveyor in that area that we want to apply our product on. Once we have uh, situated the belt conveyor and we have the area where that is damaged, we will start to buff the damaged area. We can do that using a brush or a polisher or a sanding disc if we have that machine so that we polish the surface where we want to apply the product so that it is regular we don't have very acute borders and we also have the surface as clean as possible we might also use as we can see a cutter in that regard and once uh, we have polished the surface, we will apply the solvent. First the uh, solvent in order to clean the area. And then this solvent it uh, will dry up in 30 seconds. So we then proceed to apply with a brush the primer. Primer is, uh, is the small bottle with the number 2. The bottles are numbered so that we can follow the steps after first using the solvent then comes the primer as said and then the third product uh, which is already the resin which has a black color as we can see and in this uh, in the same bottle uh, that contains the resin we will add up the catalyst which is uh, has a white color we will stir it in order to mix the two components and we will see that uh, the product takes a slightly grayish tone and then after mixing it for a while and when we think the, the mixture is even we will start applying using a brush, a spatule. We'll apply the product, that mixture, so that it is evenly distributed on the damaged area. We will use the spatule in order to make sure that the borders are covered with that product. And as we proceed in 5-10 minutes we will see that the product which has liquid texture will start to harden so that as said before in 
40, 50 uh, minutes, we, the product will be hard and we will be able to resume production. So we can see here the end result, how it looks like. And we are ready to go after we we uh, can uh, see that the product is strong enough in order to continue with the usual task. We hope you enjoyed the video. We always try to introduce you to interesting things for the industry. We hope this is the case. If it's uh, if it's so, please take the time to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. Share it with someone in the industry as well that you think might find it interesting because it's worth uh, this, uh, this development and we hope uh, we can find you and see you in the next video.